a few shots ago in the same part of the pocket. Sure, but he doesn't really want all those reds going safe onto cushions. Makes that deficit 38 points seem even more. Difficult to think that he could score that many from here unless he could get balls away from cushions. This is the last red that's got anything easy about it. Then you have to get a plan together to bring other reds into play. He has got the shot to move a red here. But of course, when you do that, when you move a red off a red, you never know how you're going to quite finish on a colour. I think he's playing to disturb a red. That's Thank not you. bad. So that's changed things quite a lot with the black in play. The kind of risk you have to take sometimes. This time, some sort of noise from backstage. Well, the tension really is building up now. It's uh, the fact that you can hear the odd little bit of noise tells you how silent such a huge audience can be. When they're engrossed in a match. And that was not a very well played cannon, but he's on the red still. He certainly played much thicker to push it into play. <coughs> a little bit of tension in the arm there, I'm sure. 28. It was a nervy start. Before, remember, the first frame was re racked. They were very nervous. You 
can guarantee it's going to be a nervy end. Why shouldn't it be? Well, any shot like this can be missed. Taking shape, but again, as I say, any of these sort of shots. 36. On these last two reds, where their place could be missed. It's a bit easier than the one that he just potted. Needs to be high. 37. And he is. Well, it feels now like it's about the last red. I mean, it was not a great position they were in when he came to the table. He had to really work hard just to get this far. Black's going to put him in front, and then it becomes about this last red. Yeah, it really does feel like that. Never going to drop from there. Quiet down, please. And now it's hanging in the jaws for Mark Williams, six points behind. Thank you. Yes, he played it in a good way there. One. Dave, because he, he didn't want to pin all his hopes in getting on the black. He played up into an area where he could have put either the blue or green. Still, a, take a, a shot here. Just got to make sure that he gets on the yellow. The, the, the nice shot to play would be to just gently cannon the brown, but. If he missed the cannon, he'd go beyond the yellow. But, uh, it might not be potable. Well, that's a good shot. Didn't play the cannon, but he played a good shot, although he's queuing. He's awkward. Wow, what a finish to a match Six. this is. Yep, five all, 45 points all. I'm sure if that red had dropped, Mark Selby tempted, he would be through. Hardly anything in the match at all. Eight. Williams needs down to the blue. It's all about the pace. All about pace. He's 11. over hit to the point where he's on it in the middle. Can you believe that? There is not a chance he played like that. No, he just kept running that cue ball. 15. Well, that wasn't particularly confidently played, and I tell you, even though he only wants this, it is a missable shot. Played slowly, the in-off might come into play, so he'll have to drop it in. Could so easily have lost 6 3 and 6 4 and 6 5. Mark Selber already needs a snooker. But the pink has gone in, and it's Mark Williams who wins an epic opening match to this year's Masters. Mark Selby must be so disappointed he couldn't quite get over the line. But what a thrilling start, a match that had everything, and from 5 3 down. It's Mark Williams, the twice-master champion, who books his place in the quarterfinals.